So I have this great session and I'm like, these photos are awesome. And then, then, imagine my surprise and disgrace when I go and I go to edit these photos and they're gone. They're just gone. So that, that's how this story went. I had this session with Gloria, been over a year ago now. Photos edited, delivered, but you guys know that I'm always making tools and workshops and presets. And when I make presets and styles for Capture One and things like that, I'm actually testing. It's not like most of them out there that they only look good on, on one demo image and they work terrible on everything. It's really important for my work because I'm using all these images to test and to experiment and to understand how to use our tools better, how to create better for me. And I went to edit and do some testing on some of these photos. And imagine what I see when I come into Lightroom. You've probably seen it before. I'm in Lightroom and I go down here to these photos and I see these little exclamation marks. Okay, not a big deal. I'm like, well, why? I shouldn't be seeing those. I, they're in my models folder, 2020. I look around, they're not there. I search all the drives. Maybe I accidentally move them, not there. Okay, this isn't good, but hey, not only do I have my RAID 5 here, how many folders are there supposed to be? There's 800 and some odd folders, right? So I right click on one of the photos that still exists and I show in Explorer and I go out of Lightroom and I bring it up and I search for the raw files and lo and behold, there's 485 photos. Okay, so I'm missing like half almost. All right, no problem. I go down and I have both Backblaze and CrashPlan. So these are both cloud storage services that I can restore from. And my crash plan, I think crash plan keeps deleted files for a year. My backblaze, I think I pay like an extra two bucks a month to keep deleted files for a year. And then you can pay a little bit more and keep them indefinitely. So these are, these are services that I maintain and I maintain both of them because I want a double redundancy just in case one cloud storage fails. I got good internet, I back up everything. All 14 terabytes or whatever that's on my RAID 5 right now is backed up to the cloud. And full disclosure, I have an affiliate account with Backplace and I, I hardly ever promote it. I just use it. I've used it for years. I've talked about it all the way going back to Pro Photo Show. But I did see I have a link recently that if you click my affiliate link, it gives you 10% off. So if you're looking for a cloud storage option or something like that, I'll put that down in the notes for you. But I don't really care what we use, which one's your favorite. So I go to Backplace, nothing. I go to Crash Plan, nothing. Apparently, without my knowing it, these files were deleted more than a year ago and they've fallen off. I'm like, oh, a year's gonna be enough. And I didn't even realize. Maybe I accidentally deleted the file. I don't even know how, because it's not like my drives crashed. But the bottom line is here, even though the directory for this session and half the photos are there, half the photos are simply missing. I'm royally screwed and not in a good way. Then I start thinking, I'm about to resync and just delete the bad ones and write it off, right? Okay, at least I sent the model of the photos before I lost them like an idiot. And then I'm like, wait a minute, there's previews. Look at my, look at my Lightroom here. And yes, the files are missing, but I have these nice previews of all my edits still here. So I should logically be able to do something. I load up this and I will link this in the notes, like always, so that you guys can see. And it's called the Extract previews for lost images. You can actually see it here on Adobe's website and you can click this and download it. It's gonna download the file. And as soon as that file's downloaded, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and you'll see it has this little extract previews LUA, right? I'm gonna right click and just copy this file. And I'm just gonna get rid of this cause I have this on the clipboard. Now I'm gonna go back to Lightroom and go into preferences for Lightroom and go to the presets tab. Now what you wanna do and is go to the other presets. The new versions of Lightroom are putting the XM presets folder, XMP presets in with camera raw and all that. But you wanna click this other Lightroom presets folder. It's gonna bring up kind of the classic folder where Lightroom used to store all the presets. Click this Lightroom folder. And inside that you see all the old presets, but also where Lightroom still stores things like export presets and things like that. And I want you to create a folder because it's not in here unless you have other scripts installed. Create a folder called scripts, all right? Inside this Lightroom folder that we opened. Inside scripts, just right click and paste that file that we just downloaded, all right? Now, 
I'm coming back here. I've pasted. I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to close Lightroom. And as soon as I've closed it, I'm going to reopen it. And we're going to see what happens. All right, now you can see up here in the corner, I have a new drop down in the bar called Scripts. And inside that is this Extract Previews. Okay, that's great. Let's see what we can do with it. So I'm going to go back to the library with the grid. Okay, so you can see I got all these images with the exclamation marks, but it's not all of them. So I'm going to select from the first one here, I'm going to select and then I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to scroll up until the exclamation marks go away. So I'm scrolling up, scrolling up and finding to where, getting to the point to where the photos are there. Okay, so here's exclamation, exclamation. And right here, the exclamation marks stop. So I'm gonna shift click so that I've selected all of these in here. I have 422 images selected. I'm gonna go to scripts and use the script and see if it works. Extract previews, it's gonna open up a window and say, hey, where do you wanna put these? I'm just gonna put them on the desktop and let's call this Gloria Extract Extract. Okay, good enough. Man, I can't even spell. There's the folder. Clicking into that folder, then I'm gonna click Select Folder, and you can see that Lightroom is doing its thing up here, and it was pretty quick, and it says failed to extract or write preview for 63 photos. Okay, and it, it, it gives me the option to select and all these ones that show nothing, these blank previews that were lost that there's not even previews for in Lightroom, there's nothing there. Okay, but let's see what we got. Let's close Lightroom, close this stuff, close all our clutter, go to the desktop, and here's my folder. Okay, great. And look at that. Inside this, we have 359 photos. And it looks like metadata may have been stripped. They don't have... They don't, they're not rotated the correct direction, but these are the photos and they're there and they are 3840 by 23. So they're, they're 4K because my monitor's 4K. So I've rendered the previews. So whatever you get out of this is gonna be however you've rendered the previews. My monitor's 4K and I think the previews are medium. So basically we have medium quality JPEGs at 4K, not exported with my edits in Lightroom, just the original previews that were based on my original raw files. So are these as good as my original raw files? No, absolutely not. Do I feel stupid? Because somehow, even though I have no idea how I lost these and they weren't even in my cloud backups, well, yeah, absolutely I do. But I have something. I have enough that I can still play with, test these, use them in portfolio images, and I've got all but about 60 of these images back. And this is a little embarrassing, this whole story, because I don't lose photos. I'm, I'm pretty religious about backing up. And obviously, had I still been actively working with this, had this been a wedding or something like that, I would have realized, oh, something's missing. I lost a bunch of photos. I would have been gone to my cloud backups and downloaded them. But because so much time passed, they weren't even in the cloud backups because somehow they were deleted from my drive and then a year later, subsequently deleted from my cloud backups. And I still have all these photos. So what do we do now? I don't use this every day because I don't make a habit of losing photos. So I'm actually gonna go to preferences again and I'm gonna open the presets and let's go to that folder, presets, show all other Lightroom presets folder. Let's go into Lightroom and I'm actually gonna to go to this scripts folder and you can see I've done this before. I'm gonna to go to the scripts folder and I'm just gonna put a tilde, this symbol right here in front of the scripts folder. So it's still in there if I need it right here because I don't really like to leave uh, scripts installed if I'm not actively using them, right? Because they could take up system resources or something like that. So then I'm going to restart Lightroom and you can see that because I put a tilde in front of it, which is basically telling Lightroom to ignore this, uh, we no longer have the scripts folder. We just have the images. So now I've recovered these. I can go back, import the previews that I rescued back into the main folder synchronize the folder. It'll then get rid of all the, all the old ones. So it's a good thing that I didn't say, oh, these are missing, I'm screwed, and resync my folder and delete these because it would have thrown away those previews. Before I did anything, I said, stop. What can I do? There's gotta be a way that I can get these previews out. And yes, there is, and I went and used that way. And now I have 4K quality JPEGs that I can use. It's not the perfect world.
<laughs> but I've recovered most of these images. And if you're in this situation at some point, go try this first before you lose everything. Because a lot of us have big preview libraries. Obviously, you should be backing up. You should have a local backup. You should have a cloud backup. But sometimes, no matter how good you do it, eventually something gets lost track of. And this is one extra reserve step that you could use to do. It. So I will get out of here. But I hope if you ever find yourself in this situation, you find this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you have questions. Hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next one.